Hey, I wanted to do a quick video overview of my presentation on Monday at Writer's UA. So here you go. Hope to see you in the session. We're going to have six 12 minute parts. There's going to be three on placing video into pro uh, projects, and then there's going to be three sections on producing video using various products. There is a section on lighting that was in the original um, program description for Writer's UA. That is, uh, we're going to do that section, but that section is going to be done on Wednesday in my video in technical communication uh, section. So it's not going to be part of the Adobe, the Adobe stuff. That was just kind of a mix up and sorry about that. After just a brief warm up in here, we're going to go quickly into the, uh, the options for placing video into various TCS products. So we've got these three, we've got Captivate, FrameMaker, and RoboHelp, the various options that are available to you. Inside of Captivate, we've got both placing a, uh, live camera video and also placing Swift animation stuff. So uh, we want to look at, uh, you can do a run through on those things and take a few minutes to take a look at your, your options and your menu commands. Within FrameMaker, for output to PDF and other formats, if you're going out to mobile or online help, uh, we've got the ability to do, again, camera video, to put in screencasts and uh, different types of simulations, software simulations, perhaps. So we want to be able to place 3D and not only to place those models from SolidWorks or AutoCAD into your FrameMaker doc, but be able to process those files and come up with automatic links to some of the controls that may be embedded inside of those. Within RoboHelp, used for online help systems, we are going to look at multimedia as far as placing live video, also being able to put something like a Captivate simulation or demonstration into there, and then looking at the options for publishing that content, see what it looks like on the far side. On the publishing video side, we're going to cover options for Captivate, for Presenter, and also look at Connect9, which is what I tend to use for my online training. Both that and GoToMeeting will let you record sessions and then reuse that content. Uh, GoToMeeting is, of course, a Citrix product. Inside of Captivate, uh, we need to look at the, the publishing, specific publishing recommendations, best practices for producing different types of output, whether it's a, call it perhaps a traditional e-learning Swift output or something that's going to HTML5 for interactive mobile or something that's going straight up to YouTube like this is going to, that's going to be produced as MP4. Now working with Presenter, Presenter is what I use to produce this little short video here. The nice thing about Presenter is it allows me to give my presentation just to, to the video camera and then go in and, and cut it and do some post-processing to go from full screen into something which is side by side and then go directly to the full screen of the PowerPoint. So you've got those three different options. It doesn't really take a lot of time to produce that stuff and to, to kind of do the production on that versus um, physically recording the presentation itself. We're going to wrap up the session with Connect and some best practices for using Connect. I've been using Connect for not only webinars and online meetings, but for live classroom training. Connect is lots of things to lots of people, but we're going to focus on the ability to record e-learning and then to produce that e-learning and then repurpose it however you might.